friends you must be wondering what am i going to tell you more about the extended warranty than you already know well i will share my real life experiences and why i recommend that you should buy the extended warranty on any product that you purchase let's start Let me start with my real life experiences which compels me to buy the extra warranty whenever I make a significant purchase. The Samsung Smart LED TV you see here was bought way back in 2014 for rupees 60000. Well, it was an expensive purchase and just when the 1 year warranty was about to expire I got a call from Samsung customer support suggesting me to purchase a 3 year additional warranty. I asked the price of the extra warranty and they said it is roughly around rupees 6000. I reluctantly decided to purchase it thinking that maybe it is the right thing to do. And so it happened in 2016 my LED screen started showing black patches on the corners and sides. When the TV engineer checked it he said that the LED screen will conk off eventually I said I have an extended warranty and he was shocked He checked my extended warranty receipt he said you are lucky as the LED screen replacement would have costed you rupees 23000 Wow and just like that I got my LED screen replaced for free So for rupees six thousand that I had spent, I got a part worth rupees twenty three thousand, and my TV became brand new. So you must be thinking, well, this was just a chance, and it won't happen with every product. Well, listen to this. I purchased a Samsung microwave oven few years back for rupees six thousand. I got an extra warranty for two years from Chroma Store, where I had purchased it from. The extra warranty was for rupees 600. In the three years that I kept that microwave oven, it was repaired six times. Two times they changed the magnetron, which is the most expensive part of rupees 1200 plus. So if I did not have that extra warranty, I would have spent more than half the cost of the microwave oven. Now I have this LG microwave oven, and yes, you guessed it right. I did purchase the extended warranty on this. Let's talk about a 350 liter Samsung double door fridge that I had purchased few years back. After the one year warranty was over, suddenly the fridge stopped cooling. The repair person said we have to change the main circuit part which controls the entire fridge. That part was rupees 3500 plus. But thanks to the extended warranty I had, I didn't pay a single penny. Now you must be thinking I am plain unlucky and I tend to end up with defective products. Well that's not the case. You see manufacturers these days are under lot of pressure to make reasonable products, use less electricity and are also lightweight. The parts that are used in appliances these days are not so heavy duty like they used to be in the older products. plus the manufacturers want products to last a few years and not lifetime so the appliances are made in such a way that they will ask for some sort of repairs after a year or so also the voltage fluctuations and the dust in our environment are the number one enemy of electrical and electronic equipment so we end up replacing our devices more frequently than we have to In these times if an appliance lasts for 3 to 5 years it is a good appliance but to ensure that this happens we need to buy the additional warranty for safety I recommend spending 10 to 15% of the product cost in warranty also go for the manufacturer warranty wherever possible your second choice can be the dealer warranty if the manufacturer warranty is not available The advantage of manufacturer warranty is that you will always get genuine parts and also the manufacturer 
warranty covers entire country or wherever they have presence in the nation. I hope my real life experiences will help you to make the right decision to buy extra warranty the next time you make a significant purchase. Thank you for watching my video and for more such useful videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.